Hello there, and welcome back to the final Let's Play for Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. We finally got full rank force lightning, although quite frankly not really much use, because I think at least half the enemies in this level are semi-immune to the damn stuff, so yeah. I apologize for any really slow down in advance, but well, you know how much computers love rendering rain and other such effects, especially when you're trying to record. Okay, this is the first of a new and really irritating enemy. The Swamp Trooper. Who, well as you can see under certain conditions, are damn near invulnerable. As long as they're in the swamp, and even partially submerged. No. Yeah. Not so tough when you chug it through the air, admittedly. But yeah, if they're even partially submerged, don't even bother trying to hit them with force lightning or anything else. Because it'll just do absolutely no damage for no particular reason. Yeah, basically just keep chucking them into the air and stuff. It's usually the best way to get rid of them. Though for some reason, on my version of the game, the force grip is either very insensitive or it somehow ends up grabbing two at once, which I don't understand. But whatever. Uh, moving right along. This is another irritation of this particular level. Uh, is You'll notice every now and again you get like a um, little pop effect as the rain hits Carl's lightsaber. Which is very cool, but it sometimes makes it hard to tell whether it's a you know an effect or whether you're actually being shot at. Which is kind of a bitch, considering the swamp troops all use repeaters and stuff. Uh, but yeah, also the water. Whenever a car goes into water that's above a certain level, it'll automatically turn his lightsaber off without you asking. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah. You can use all of your other weapons underwater, but not the lightsaber for some reason. Well, whatever. So yeah, uh, this level is a bit of a maze, so prepare to get lost a lot, and, oh, Trooper, jumped out of the, pissing hell, another one behind, We are Sex Bob, and we're here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff! <laughs> So yeah, for those of you keeping score, that was about three levels worth of footage that I just amalgamated into one little thing so that I could show you all this. This giant glowing pillar of death is basically your final destination after you've solved all the mazes and crappy little puzzles and illusions and other bullshit that makes no real sense. Oh goody, a cutscene. Katarn. Welcome to the future. Your future's looking pretty grim, Dasan. On the contrary, thanks to you, the weakling Jedi who scorned me will soon be erased from history, replaced by a new race of warriors. Strong warriors, warriors who know that the Force is not a shield to protect the useless, but is in reality a weapon to empower the worthy. None of that 
what's gonna happen to San. Most of your shadow troopers are being mopped up by real Jedi. Ones who've been trained to use the Force. The rest blew up with your ship. What a pathetic ruse. Hassan de Fayar. Admiral? Admiral! Admiral Fayar, I order you to come in at once! I was wrong about you, Katan. Your failure as a Jedi hasn't weakened you. It's only made you stronger. Come, join me. You know in your heart that you'll never truly be one of them. Maybe, maybe not. But I know I won't be alone. How about you, Desan? Even now, after all this pain, it's not too late. Come, join us. You sweet fool! Okay. Now, I expect much like myself, after, you know, everything we've been through to get here to fight this guy, and after, you know, tackling his apprentice much earlier on in the game, expecting an epic duel of epic proportions, and, you know, much incredible fighting and other such nonsensica. But, uh, to be quite frank, this isn't really that hard of a duel. As long as you hit force speed at the beginning there, like I did, and keep spamming force push, you can pretty much keep knocking the twat down and, you know, Lights there bring off different parts of him until he dies. The only real thing you've got to worry about is his forced lightning. Um, which, for some reason, you can't block in any fashion. It will just savage you completely every time he touches you. So yeah, just keep knocking the twat down and eventually, you'll splice his guts open. Like so. And yeah, that'll be that. The end of Dasan, and the start of yet another cutscene. Kyle, Jan, someday you're gonna have to teach me how to do that. Thanks for taking care of the Raven's Claw. It was the least I could do for the pair of mercenaries who saved the Jedi Academy. I know you've probably heard this before, but the New Republic is forever in your debt. You should have known it would take a failed Jedi to take out another failed Jedi. Kyle, you were never a failure. Luke, I... I know. I'll be happy to hold your lightsaber for safekeeping. No, I think I'll keep it. Ha! I knew it! Lando owes me five credits. Are you sure this is what you want, Kyle? Look, I'm not saying I'm ready to join the Academy or anything like that. I mean, before I do anything, I figure that Jan and I have earned a long vacation on the beaches of Spira. And after that, well... After that, we'll see. Yeah. Take your time, Kyle. We'll still be here when you're ready. Thanks, and may the Force be with you, Luke. Well, I don't know about you guys, but by my estimation, that was quite possibly the lamest ending ever. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed, you know, the final fight and all the rest of it, but ending on a close-up of a handshake? Really? Compared to what the movies used to end with? I mean, think of the end of the first film, well, I say first, you know, New Hope, you know, massive celebration, big medal ceremony. End of Empire Strikes Back, you know, fitting a robot hand pan out as a massive war fleet prepares for destinations unknown. End of the third film, massive celebration once again. The ghosts of, you know, three of the greatest Jedi Masters in history. Well, two and Anakin. All lined up to wish Luke a fond farewell. And what do we have here? A handshake. Really? Come on guys, you could have done better than that, surely. 
Uh, oh well. But yeah, that was the end of Jedi No. 2 Jedi Outcast. Get away with accolades, I'm sure. And, um, yeah, that was basically that. Um, not really much else to say, if I'm quite honest with you. Uh, next Let's Play will be, um, Portal 2. You know, assuming that, uh, they ever actually get round to releasing that on Steam. At the moment, it's still marked as April 2011. So I just tried to yawn at the same time as I said that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So once I actually am able to download that, I'll do a few test runs, find the best settings, and then hopefully uh, bring it up and running, and we'll go from there. Now, for any of you who might be wondering, uh, I shall not be doing Jedi Academy unless I get a lot of people asking about it. So, you know, don't really expect that to come in time soon. If you want to check out the original game this came from, and when I say original I mean uh, Dark Forces 2, and I recommend uh, you should still be able to purchase a copy of it. I'm not sure where from, I must admit, but I'm pretty sure you can still buy it. I'm not sure if you can actually get the discs anymore, or if you'd have to buy it through Steam or some such, but you can get it. I know for a fact you can get it. Um, I recommend downloading the HD patches for it once you do get it, just to improve the appearance of the gameplay and whatnot a bit. Um, well, you know, I quite enjoyed watching, you know, old you know, Rotundra headed Kyle stomping around awkwardly, but that's just me. Uh, otherwise, if you don't want to shell out, you know, the couple of quid or dollars or whatever to buy this ancient game, um, you can watch a Let's Play of it by a chap on the screen name of Necroscope86. You can find him in my subscriptions. Uh, yeah, for all other Star Wars related stuff, I'd recommend... Uh, turning to Wikipedia, or Wikipedia, should I say. That's right, I did say Wikipedia. If you want to get a bit more of a flavour for the universe, uh, or if you're just wondering about the various things I've mentioned throughout the course of this Let's Play, then the Expanded Universe novels can be purchased from most bookstores, and I think the entire collection is on Amazon. Uh, should be, anyway. Um, starting point, best starting point to go with if you're going to do the expanded novels is probably things like Shadows of the Empire and various other books set within the movie continuity. Um, if you want to leap straight ahead to stuff that happened after Jedi, um, they can go with either Truce, yes, Truce Aburuka is the very first one, and then Tatooine Ghost, I think. So, yeah. Look those up and you'll see what I mean. Alright, right. That's the end of this. Thank you all for watching. I'll see, hopefully, most of you at least in Portal 2. And yeah. Have fun, guys. Till next time.